Hello everyone, this is Allison from Simplifying Sold. And in today's video, I wanna share a quick email tip about using filters in your email. This is a great tip for real estate agents specifically because email is often the enemy of most agents. You get so many emails, hundreds of emails a day. If you don't have time to check your inbox while you're at an open house or out on showings, by the time you do get to the email at the end of the day and you're exhausted, just seeing hundreds of unopened emails to sort through or even 20, 30 that all need your attention can be really overwhelming. And another big issue for realtors is you get so many emails that don't need your attention. And let's say we get those mass marketing emails from other realtors trying to market their listings or tell you about their open house or from brands trying to sell you a product that's going to get you more leads or give you more time. And even if you just click on those to open them, realize it's a marketing email and discard it, that still takes up a lot of your time if you're doing that for multiple emails a day. As real estate agents, we are always trying to find ways to be more efficient and email efficiency is a huge space I know a lot of realtors could use improvement in. So what are filters? Filters are a step you can put on your emails to send certain emails to a certain place, discard certain emails, mark certain emails as important. So some specific features I like of this for the real estate industry is you could add in your preferred title company, your preferred lender, your clients, and always have those emails marked as important. You can also do this with any emails with an attachment which I think we all can agree, any email we get with an attachment usually is an important email that needs our attention. And that attachment needs to be reviewed, filed away, sent for signature, whatever it is. We don't want those things to slip through the cracks, most importantly. The other big tip I like with this is talking about those mass marketing emails I just mentioned. We can filter those out of our inboxes completely. Instead of taking hours to go through and unsubscribe to everyone and try to figure out how we even got on that list, there's a quick tip I'll show you in the tutorial to get those out of your inbox forever. So now I will insert a tutorial on how to set up filters. Let me know if you use filters in your business and what they've done for you. Okay, so here is how to create a filter in Gmail. So log into your Gmail account, and then we're gonna go up to settings in the top right corner, and then see all settings. Next, we're gonna go to filters and blocked addresses. So I already have one filter in here. I'm gonna delete that one and make a new one. Okay, so then we're gonna to want to create a new filter. So what you see in this pop-up is all the different options that you can use as criteria to help filter your emails. So if you know there's a certain email address, like your broker, that's always going to be really important. You can say anything from that email address is going to do X, Y, Z, or anything that has an attachment. This is something I think is a great tip for realtors. Most of our important documents, you know, executive amendments, final contracts, CDs, things that have a kind of intense deadline usually are attached to emails. So what you could do is has attachment, create filter, and you could star it or always mark it as important. You could have it go to a certain label that you create, maybe such as attachments or something like that. Probably what I would recommend is always marking it as important and starring it. That way when you come to check your email first thing in the morning or at the end of the day, those things are gonna be popping up right at the top and clearly marked as important. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that filter. Great, and then I wanna create one more about the unsubscribe I discussed. Okay, so let's create one more filter. So what we're gonna do here is try to target mass marketing emails that may be popping up in your inbox, taking over those important emails just by sheer volume. So a trick for this is to type in, has the words unsubscribe. 
most big marketing emails going to hundreds or thousands of people are going to contain these words. Occasionally I see one or two slip through the cracks, maybe from a smaller company or someone who's sending out their own marketing one by one, but this takes care of a big chunk of those emails for you. So a quick tip here, a little warning. Um, my personal MLS system, a lot of the ones I work with, they do use the word unsubscribe in their emails. So a way to get around this is has the words unsubscribe but doesn't have whatever your MLS name is, their email address, whatever they send consistently in every single one of their emails, then it's going to filter out everything that has the word unsubscribe except for the ones that have your MLS information. You can also never mark it as important or categorize it as maybe social or promotions that can work really well too. You'll see those on the side over there as well. So let's say for us, we want it to just be archived. Create filter. So now we have filters for anything that comes through with an attachment is going to be starred and marked as important. And anything that has unsubscribed in it, which is typically those mass marking emails, is going to skip our inbox and go straight to archives. So we can always search for that later or look it up if we're curious, but that can save a lot of mess and help keep your emails nice and organized. Well, I hope you guys found that tutorial helpful. Like I mentioned, that is in Gmail, but almost all email programs do have this feature. And the main goal of filters is to put things in certain places or discard certain things and mark things as important so that when you do sit down at your inbox at the end of the day, it is streamlined and it is ideally things that only need your attention. Keep an eye out for more email tips and other tips from me. I will also link my blog below and you can check out the rest of the videos on my YouTube if you want more tips like these. Thanks guys, have a great day.